The galaxy is a texture. This is the galaxy you're looking at. It is set to over... It is set to linear dodge. Okay. Okay, here's what I did. Let's practice with another picture, because I don't want to undo what I've done. Let's add stars to something different, okay? Well, let's add stars to rows. Okay, so you've got a picture, and you want to add stars. Here we go, tutorial time. Get a texture. Make sure it's decently high resolution. It doesn't fucking matter. This image right now is 1400 by 945, so roughly wallpaper sized. Copy that shit. Paste that shit. That actually is surprisingly a good size. Um, anyway, you're going to set this. You can play around with different layers to see what you actually like. Um, linear dodge is going to kind of brighten it. I ended up going with linear dodge with Dipper because he's just so dark that nothing else was really standing out. Um, let's see. Overlay. Like, I actually like overlay with Rose better. It stands out. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Um, obviously, though, you don't necessarily want it where she is. Like, you might just want it in the hair. Anyway, so if you're in Photoshop, there's this nifty thing down here. Add layer mask. This actually exists in Psy, too. It just works a little differently. But essentially, add layer mask. Okay, so you've now got this white box, and it's ready to be masked. Um, so what I did, white is what will show black is what will hide so i paint bucketed the entire layer black so now it's hiding everything and then i took a brush and made my brush white and picked my brush and now as long as this mask is selected anywhere i paint stars appear that is why it looks like it's a brush i'm painting in the layer mask and if you want to erase it make your brush black and it disappears. Make your brush white, and it reappears. Make your brush gray, and it kind of appears. It, you have scale of the whole spectrum over here. And there you go. Now let's do the same thing in Psy. Look how nice I'm being. Alright. Inside it's going to work a little differently because I don't have that really cool brush. That is a Photoshop only brush. But regardless. You make your layer. You copy. You paste that shit. There you go. Alright. Um, we're going to play around. Um, here's overlay. Overlay is not bad. Um, luminosity. I really, really, really like size luminosity. We're actually going to be taking Dipper back into Psy so I can make this glow. Because Photoshop's glow just doesn't impress me. Um, we'll do overlay again. Okay, so Psy's layer mask is over here. It's this little dot thing. And as soon as you click it, it's actually going to auto make everything black. Like, where in Photoshop, you have to manually go in and paint bucket it black if you want. Inside, it does it for you. Um, so you actually have to paint bucket the color in. Um, Psy is finicky with what it will and will not let you use with clipping. Um, Psy really only wants you to use a solid pen for it. Like if you see here, I've grabbed a solid pen and I can go in and with white, actually any color, that's another thing with Psy, is Photoshop pays attention to black and white. Psy doesn't. Psy strictly pays attention to are you coloring or are you erasing? It is completely different from Photoshop. Photoshop is are you coloring with black, white, or gray? Psy is are you coloring or 
grab my eraser. Are you erasing? Um, that, that is it. It doesn't matter what color you have, it doesn't matter if it's white, it doesn't matter if it's black, it doesn't matter if it's teal. As long as you have a color, you're doing it. And if you have an eraser, you're taking it away. Um, the downside with Psy is the brushes it will let you use, like I said, it's pretty much limited to just a solid pen. So, it's not really nice for, like, blending. Like, I've got this pen here, but if I want to take my watercolor, it's like, nope, can't let you watercolor a mask. Can't let you marker a mask. Can't let you airbrush a mask. Can't, it, it, really, you can't do shit. I, it's really freaking annoying. Um, so I'm not actually sure how useful this is. This is useful not so much for this technique. Um, like I said, you could go in and just paint over her hair. Like, yay! Basically, no soft, fluffy masks. You have to deal with the fact that it's going to be a solid, hard edge no matter what you do.